So the power sequence, basically this is one of the most important page in every schematic that every engineer or technician should understand. So the power sequence makes things easier. So as you can see here, basically, here we have the adapter. As you can see, this is the adapter over here. And here we have a power MOSFET or a power switch. Its reference or part member is if the is 6675A. And here we have current sense resistor. So always the current sense resistor is connected to the charge IC, as you can see. So this is basically the charge IC. And here we have the battery over here. Okay. So after the 19 volt from the adapter pass through this power switch or power MOSFET, we gonna get here plus V bat. This is basically a 19 volt. This plus V bat will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard, as you can see. So here, for example, the plus V bat will be applied to 3 volt, 5 volt circuit or IC. We have here TPE is 51120. This is basically the 3 volt, 5 volt control IC. As you can see here, we will get plus 5 volt and plus 3 volt. Here also, the 19 volt, as you can see, will be applied also to 1.8 volt and 1.5 volt control IC. So remember always this bolded line means the 19 volt, it means a high voltage, it means a high trace, and this Thin lines means enable signals. So the 19 volt will be applied to this IC. As you can see, we have here TPE is 51124. Besides of this enable signals, as you can see, as you can see, we have here enable one and enable two. And then the IC will generate these two voltages, 1.5 volt. This 1.5 volt basically is for chipsets, especially the North Bridge. Okay, and here we have 1.8 volt. This is for the RAM, the main working voltage for the RAM, exactly for DDR2 RAM, because the RAMs has a different voltages. So for DDR1, for example, the old RAM, it had its working voltage is 2.5 volt. DDR2, 1.8 volt. DDR3, 1.5 volt. DDR4, 1.2 volt. DDR5, 1.1 volt, and so on. Okay, so this voltage basically is for DDR2 RAM. So this voltage will be applied to, to another IC. As you can see, we have here TPS51 100. Then this IC will generate the half of this power. It will generate 0.9 volt. This power or this voltage also is for the RAM. It's VTT for RAM terminals because the RAM has basically two voltages, one main voltage and the other voltage for terminals. So for DDR2, we have 1.8 volts and 0.9 volt. For DDR3, 1.5 volt, 0.75 volt. For DDR4, 1.2 volt. 0.6 volt for VTT and for DDR5 1.1 volt and 0.55 volt for VTT. So then the 19 volt or the V bat will be applied to another circuit. As you can see, we have TPE is 51170. This is basically the circuit that generate plus VCCP. So plus VCCP is about 1.05 volt. This plus VCCP basically powered three chipsets in the motherboard: the CPU, the North Bridge and the graphic card. So the CPU, the North Bridge, and the ICH. So let me show you the plus VCCP in another circuit. So as you can see here, 
we have here plus VCCP, it's about 1.05 volt. So this plus VCCP will be applied to ICH, as you can see, to the CPU and to the GMCH graphic memory control hub. So GMCH basically means to graphic cards, as you can see, graphic memory integrated with the not bridge. So if you find GMCH means the graphic card is integrated with the not bridge. But if you find just MCH means the memory control hub, means the graphic card is separated from the not bridge. So if you focus here in this motherboard, for example, here we have the CPU, here we have the node bridge, here we have the graphic card, and over here we have the ICH. So here, this is MCH, memory control hub, and the graphic card is separated from the node bridge, as you can see. Okay, so this is MCH and this is the graphic card. But in this motherboard, for example, as you can see, here we have the CPU, here we have the GMCH, and over here we have the ICH. So here the graphic card is integrated with the not bridge. So this is GMCH. So for this motherboard, for example, as you can see, here we have the ICH, and over here in this chipset we have the CPU, the the not bridge and the graphic card. So three chipsets integrated in one chipset, as you can see. The CPU the node bridge and the graphic card and over here we have the ICH so the same for this motherboard as you can see here we have the CPU with the GMCH so three chipsets in one chipset and over here we have the ICH the ICH basically is the responsible for all ports and connectors in the motherboards besides of the SIO Super IO the BIOS, etc. So the VCCP basically has as a purpose to power all chipsets in the motherboard, including the CPU, the node bridge, the graphic card, and the ICH. Then, as you can see, the VBAT also will be applied to this IC. This is basically a big IC. So we have here MAX or Maxim 8770. This is basically the CPU control IC, okay? So this IC has as a purpose to generate plus VCC core to power the CPU or the processor. So these two lines means two channels. We have here the main channel and the slave channel. So for the CPU, you can find two channels, three channels or more because the CPU do a very important work in the motherboard. That's why it needs more than one channel. So of course, this IC will receive 19 volt or the main voltage plus other enable signals, as you can see. Of course, plus the ID signals, as you can see, we have here zero to six ID. So basically these IDs are the signals that determines the VCC core. So each processor has a specific VCC core and this VCC core is determined by these IDs, as you can see.